Okay, so it's over there. I'm taking kind of the long way in. Because there's stuff with, worth looking at, maybe, around here. Mainly just not a whole lot of... I, I don't generally go to these areas. I'm really terrified of the edge of the map, though. Which sucks a little bit. Like, I, I don't mind the Leviathans that much. But it's always bugged me. Oh. Oh, are we pointing ourselves directly at the, uh... The Aurora's Bridge. We are. Lavender. Nothing I should be looking at yet. It is something I should look at, and it's very important, but I shouldn't look at it yet. I might also not be able to get there from here. Okay, so we want to go... Scared... Scared the shit out of me. Wait, is this west? Or east? Okay, yeah. We want to go west. There must have been a sand shark that just suddenly decided to say hi to me, but, uh... I was just like, oh no. Not already. It looks like the sand sharks are just going to be kind of a ra- Is that on my map? There's a... Life pod down there. Is this one of the ones I've been to? No. Integrating new PDA data. An unusual doll. Oh, it's a Markiplier doll. Funny. Okay, what is that? No. A little bit of metal and quartz. Which I guess I can always hand. I can always use more quartz, but nothing that fancy. Fancy. Okay. I was like, cool. A uh, a life pod. Why don't we actually listen to it while we're here? Uh, let's see. Is it ops logs? No. Aurora survivors. There we go. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. Can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. <laughs> well, whoop. That didn't work out well for him. All right. So we're still. Oh yeah, that is one deep ass trench. At this point, I'm gonna turn off the interior lighting just so we have a better. Well, that does not help anyone. I might. You know, honestly, probably gonna turn on sonar. I don't think we're going to run into any particularly big nasties around here. We might run into one. But I really like to be able to see what I'm... 
I'm in for around here. Especially because this place goes deep. Now this one looks like it goes into Wild Cave Town. Oh, he just killed us something. Now... I mean, at this point, we're starting to hit the cave. Or the whole freaking underground, to be totally honest. Problem is, we do have stuff like warpers just kind of bumming around in here. I gotta do this manually, I think. But I can only assume we're gonna have some bumps. I could uh, turn on the floodlights, but that's probably going to get us... That's probably going to get us... Lammoed. I don't know. Do they... Do the, uh... Do the EMP squid octopi creatures, uh, can they EMP your base? Seek fluid intake. I kind of wish there were like camera screens or something that would tell me like what creature it was. Oh, we're here. Okay, crab squids can attack bases, yes. Great. Now, this spot over here doesn't look so bad. I... I don't know. This place gives me the willies like nobody's business. Okay, so we're in the Lost River, finally. Hey! Uh, welcome, Jerp and Associated Raiders! How are you guys doing? I like that name. Jerp. Alright, now, if I recall, this area is pretty dang placid? I don't remember what the fauna is in this general zone. I'm gonna need some... I'm gonna need some water. Oh, my inventory is full. My inventory is full? Oh. Yeah, speaking of water... I can drink a couple of those. I'm fine. Okay, so... Crab squids will attack anything with lights. Yeah, I'll probably avoid putting a base anywhere near crab squids. I don't think... I don't think they like to... Bother this area. Oh, right, we have a toy car. I'll just put it in there. Actually, no, screw it. What am I doing? That toy car. We're gonna go put it on the engines. I'm probably gonna go turn on the lights. Luckily, it's like a little bit, uh. Uh. 
Okay. <sighs> really hoping I can put it there. This, this toy car does not want to be placed many places. Anywhere? Can I, can I not put it on the engine? Mm. 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 Wow. Actually, it doesn't look like I can place the toy car in my Cyclops at all. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's grab these batteries. We'll have to make more once we're once we're going. Uh, let's see. I should probably actually eat a couple marble me melons while we're here. Bam. Let's see. Not too worried about that. I think you have natural healing if you're full. Yeah. So that's good. So I think Lost River is my favorite zone in the game. Probably bar none. It's very pretty. And it's actually well lit, which is kind of important. I like some of the other zones. There's some really neat places, but it's just difficult to see or do anything because it's just so freaking dark. Uh, we want to do this. Okay. So can I... Oh, I absolutely can fit a multi-purpose room in here. No problem. I'm just going to have like a little nook base if I can. This might take a couple of tries as we... As we try and place it. Okay, so I'll have to bring it out a little bit more. I could also raise it, which is probably important. Yeah, so we're just going to move in around here, get some kind of garden going. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so what's the hull strength on this? Oh, it's fine. There's nothing, nothing to even worry about. Honestly, I'm actually probably going to put windows on the other side or something. Let's see, now can I get a... that's a moon pool. What about a foundation? Titanium and lead. You know, honestly, it's stable enough as it is. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Let's get the bioreactor down. Uh, let's see, I don't actually have any food to put in here yet that thing. Yeah, it's probably just more of the kind of weird scraggly environment. It's a little creepy. But I mean that's saying anything is a little creepy in this game is like oh, I don't know. Like saying I have a okay voice. I have the okayest voice, damn you. That is the answer. All right. So yeah, let's let's get this up and going. Let's let's see if we can start doing some scans. I'm not sure if this is going to be where I want to set up. Uh, so let's just pop like a couple in. I mean, realistically, I have an infinite amount of lantern fruit, so Power there's no restored. reason why I, I shouldn't. Where's the? There's the long range scanning module. All right. So we're here. That is actually less of a scan than I was hoping for, all things considered. Well, do we have anything useful? Crystalline sulfur, creature egg, diamond, gel sac. Honestly, judging by this, it actually looks pretty lame. Then again, it hasn't had a whole lot of time to spin up here. Actually, yeah, it looks like it's... Can we watch this? Does it get, like, more extensive? Or is that the maximum range that this thing can scan? Because that is... Uh, underwhelming, to say the least. They're actually... Or maybe... Maybe the uh, scanning room... Isn't going to give me everything I need here. Because yeah, I'm not seeing any fragments or anything useful. Hmm. 
I think I think we might want to tear this up and go a little bit further. I think as it stands, I'm just not Did that destroy my deep scan module? Yep, it did. Ah, no. All right. Well, whatever. Uh Let's see. So scanning for things takes a while, the range is immediate. Yeah. Alright, we gotta We gotta deal with the bioreactor too. Oh well, it's fine. I realistically I'm not too worried. I can get more magnetite kind of at any time. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, so there's a, there's a range, there's a range finder thing that you can get, but, no, oh well, I beefed it. Honestly, I think I might hop, hop in the, uh, the sea moth for a bit and just zoop, or, zoop around for a moment. You've done that twice with your run, once with four. It should just automatically go in your inventory like all of the other resources. Okay. So let's just hop in the sea moth and and scout a place quick instead of trying to drive the boat boat all the way through everywhere. It's like this thing is um Well this systems online. This thing's got considerably more zip. Ain't you a pretty sucker. Now that's just a giant box of what the hell? And uh wait, hold on. Is this... Oh shit, crabs... I didn't really realize crab squids would just... exist here. Why are they not freaking out at the lights? Oh boy. Alright, so there's this whole thing. I really like the fact that the map says exit. Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Is this the biome with the fossilized remains, or is that the other biome? What if I made my base inside this thing? Okay. So we are going to probably just kind of wander around. I've mapped out exactly where the entrance to... I don't even know what it is, but we've mapped out the entrance to it. Hello. Maybe this would be an e terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Is that a ghost leviathan? Why is there a ghost leviathan down here? I thought they weren't supposed to spawn in this biome. I'm used to them usually going after you. Uh... Is it just me or do they look kind of stupid? And they swim equally dumb. It's a baby. <sighs> There's not a whole lot of 
other places for me to go right now. I mean, I guess I could just zoop past it. It's not actually that big of a deal. I think I'm considerably faster than it. I guess we have some options. Give me that sweet stuff. Okay, so we definitely don't need the solar charger. Thermal charger right now would be a, a good idea. Let's get rid of the sea moth claw. And let's save before I do anything critically stupid. And then probably pull out the zap array just in case I need it. Now here's a question. Do uh do my vehicles wirelessly charge? What's up, big boy? You'll catch me never, though you sound like horror and death. You pretty. Right, does he follow me? Doesn't look like it. Something might bite me in the butt. Oh, hi. I'm not gonna enjoy this, but I'm probably gonna plonk a base down somewhere around here. There's a very specific spot that I want to get a base down. There it is. This is the place. I don't know what the hell this zone is, but if there's a perfect place to put a base down, to just kind of... pseudo-exist, this would be the place. And nice thing is, because we got the thermal charge, I'm pretty much never going to run out of power in here. And because of the map, I'm never going to get lost either. Probably. Entry. I'm assuming entry means this goes deeper. This spot is favored by lots of people. Go figure! I mean, it straight up is the prettiest part in the... Prettiest part of the game. The only problem is, uh... Let me guess, this is the entry to... To Lava Town. It'd be a good space for explorations out here, too. Okay, I'm not gonna go too much further. We've got some things that I wanna set up. Specifically, I effectively wanna set up a farm at the base of the giant, uh, crazy underwater tree. And then after this, then we'll go go places. And there's maybe a couple of like, yep, side spots. I think I just need to go along the edges to fill the map out. Let's see, when do I think I'm gonna do the alien stuff? Ideally soon. I wanted to kind of map this out, especially now that I have a map. The, uh, my desire to actually, like... I'm not exactly going to say reach an end. But, like, my desire to look around is much higher, because I don't... Oh.
It's the weird crab things again. Alright, let's not. I really was not expecting leviathans down here. I did Somebody was saying if you manage to kill a leviathan, they they never respawn. How do you kill a leviathan? Do you just zap it until it's dead? Or do, like, the poison gas torpedoes do them in, too? Or are there other tricks that I don't know about? Including stabbing? Oh, hey! This is where I ended my last series. Technically, I made it to the lava zone, but there wasn't anything in there. Okay, so... You zap it and stab it. You stab it dead. Bravery with a knife. <laughs> Lots of slashes, or you punch it with a prawn suit. All right. <laughs> alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Yeah, because last time I came here, you straight up couldn't even explore the whole place. Like, half of it, literally half of it was built. Uh, and I was just like, well, there's no reason for me to really stick around right now. Because... You know... Waste of time? Now it's not a waste of time. Okay, so let's get some distance, hang out near a heat vent. Which is real good power, by the way. Okay, so we've done that. So actually, looking at the... This, this entire place is actually really small, or a lot smarter than I, or sm smarter, smaller than I took a credit, uh, gave, gave a credit, I don't know, freaking whatever. Alright, let's, um, let's see if I'm gonna have to try stupid things. I mean, realistically, if I can lose nothing, except for... Battery power. Yeah, there's Slambo McGill McGillis Stuffy. Alright, we'll just leave him alone for a second. Because I'm going to have to get past him with the Cyclops if I'm going to want to do anything. We could... Let's try a decoy first. Because I think that's the smartest thing. Let's see, how's my power looking? Because, yeah, the main problem is I need... Wait, hold on. There's thermal. Can I make a... What do I need to make a thermal? Ah, can't charge this thing. All right, let's make it easier to see. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of distractions, so I should be able to just power straight through. I mean, who knows? He might just ignore me. I just don't want to run out of... I, I, I just don't want my uh, Cyclops to run out of power uh, while I'm going straight through. Because, yeah, I don't have a means of recharging it currently. Probably save, though. Don't I get some sort of teleport in this game? I don't think so. It'd be great if I could set up teleportation relays between my different bases. I know they would never add it to this game, but it would be so cool. I know there are warp gates that you can specifically take. All right, so we have saved, we have done the dumb thing.
Doot doot, motherfucker! Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to swear very hard. And it's very, very hard sometimes when it gets in my head. Okay, well, I bonked him. He doesn't like it. I'm just going to ignore and avoid. And yeah, we're just going to shield right through. I'm sorry, Shell. Shell does not approve. Alright, I think he's left me alone. I can turn the shields off. Oof. Alright, so we should be okay. I don't think there's any more ghost leviathans around here. Now I just have to remember, I think it's over on the left. I have to admit it, you've been very good at not swearing recently. Yeah, it's a mix of a couple of things. One, uh, Shell very specifically does not like it, and... I was kind of awful at uh, respecting that. I've also stopped interacting with people uh, over the course of, you know, the past couple months that swore frequently. And it's actually really easy not to swear generally uh, if you're not surrounded by other people doing so. Uh, just like if I start using... S this is really cool. Just like if I start uh, using some weird words. I bet a number of you guys probably will pick it up too. Like my weird like schwibbity speech uh, probably actually carries over in into your vo vocabulary whether you realize it or not. Um, but for the most part I try and keep it fairly, uh, fairly, fairly PG. I'm trying harder obviously lately. Because the part of it is, uh, I guess I can kind of talk about this since it's no big secret. YouTube straight up punishes channels that, like, feature a lot of vulgarity and whatnot. Uh, with worse ad rev and whatnot. And so I've been trying especially hard, I guess. Oh, nuclear fabricator. Safe handling of radioactive energy sources. That's a new one. Haven't seen before. Uh, it's exterior modules. Grow bed. Yeah, the other thing is, uh, very specifically, recently my, uh, my mother has been talking to our relatives about, uh, has been talking to our relatives about the existence of my channel because, you know, she's rather proud of me. Uh, and finding out that I have several cousins that actually do watch my videos, uh, and some of them are, well, not old enough, uh, or not, well, a young, a real young. It's like, yeah, I, uh, hmm. I'm not sure if I want to have my grow beds be that low. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably deconstruct that one, move it up a little bit. Uh, I don't want to have any of my relatives at some future get-together be like, so, you know, blah 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 started picking, uh, started picking up your, like, weird vocabulary. I'd be like, okay, you know, that's not so bad. As opposed to like, so, you're, uh, you know, my kid started swearing, and he's been watching a lot of YouTube videos. It's like, okay. I don't want to contribute to that. Alright, let's... Can I get one more growth plot? I guess I can slam one more in here. This is not exactly the prettiest growth... Well, actually, it looks kind of nice. It doesn't look great. But still. Alright. And yeah, all of these guys... This is a really cool base. All of these guys are just gonna leave me alone. And yeah, we should have enough resources... ...that we can just... ...grow... We should have enough space that I can grow them. I can get another by moving the top one. Yeah, I don't want to crowd it that much, though. 
I, I don't want to make it difficult for me to get two resources. Uh, so for this one, I actually don't want to put... I, I want to have the really tall resources in there. Oh no, you know what I forgot? Oh, I forgot. I forgot the loop machine. I forgot that whole type of plant. Uh, uh oh. Okay, there we go, it's back. I forgot the lube. It is essential. Oh no. Uh, 